So I always wanted to give back to people. I always knew that something was wrong and I didn't actually have like the background of the education or like a Pan-African upbringing or anything like that. But it's like, you kind of don't need a book to know that something is going wrong. As I got older and I got a little more educated, I understood that we were fighting like historic systemic like inequalities that are producing like the inequitable conditions that we're living in. So it's like, all of this is that way for a reason. And I do want to provide relief, but at the same time, it's like, I want to be a resource for my people um, to prevent the problems. Like, I don't want my career to be you know, based off of other people's problems. I don't want them to have these issues anymore. I started my foundation walking door to door, asking people for camp food to donate so I could give it away to families in need. And like, I sent out one tweet and before I knew it, like a lot of people had a lot of food for me. So as opposed to me walking door to door like I was doing, like I had the opportunity to have people bring me food. I went to go get food and it just started from there. After that event, I had, so many other events and just the city kept tapping in with me. I feel like once people know you're doing something good, they all for it. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it started. Well, I provide um, educational resources, um, food, um, we do community cleanups, anything revolving around making sure that my people are straight, I do. So if that's um, showing up for something or if that's donating toys, if that's donating school supplies, if that's telling somebody where they can get a certain amount of help or helping somebody enroll in school, like we participate in that. I think that's all our people. Not, not just black people, but black and brown people. I'm sure there's white people here too, but let's be real about the population here. It's black and brown and whether we're suited up or we're dressed down and homeless, we're gonna be a threat to people. I say to people who think it's dangerous to come down here and to connect with people, just do it and see what happens. I'm here all the time. I tap in with people all the time. I've never been touched, I've never been hurt. And in fact, I always leave with a story or with an experience and with a, a relationship with somebody that I was glad to have met. So it's like, there. I, I would say there's nothing dangerous about it here. And for you to experience that, you just have to come. But I know it's difficult to be going against stereotypes and honestly, racism because that's what it's about. Yeah, people are on drugs, but some people are just here because they couldn't afford $3,000 rent. And now their whole family is here. So it just depends on how you're looking at it, you know? And um, since the documentary is about black women and girls who are homeless, um, can you, what's, what are your thoughts on that? Even though you touched on it a little bit, but specifically black women and girls, and, you being a black woman, young black woman, from a different perspective. Um, so I myself have been living place to place for a long time. Um, I have my own issues at home, and I love I love my mother to death. But you know, just some things. You know, well, I'm just skip past that. But um, I just know that I thank God for the people that I've come across because I know it's very easy for young girls, especially. I, I'm sorry, I emphasize black people, but it's very, especially black girls, to get lost in this system. Sometimes you're 16, you need somewhere to go, and sometimes there's somebody behind you, like, if you wanna stay here, you have to sleep with me. Um, there's a lot that comes with young women being on the streets. It's like, if they don't sell their bodies, then they have to worry about being tainted, touched, or taken, honestly. Um, it's a different experience opposed to being a man. Um, it's a different type of struggle, and it's very delicate. I think it's important to me, especially to touch black women because I've come so far and I've accomplished so much, but I know where I could be. And if the right people didn't catch me, take me and guide me, I would probably be maybe somewhere strung out on drugs or selling myself for, or dead, raped, abused and dead. Because I feel like when, there, when it comes to women on these streets, there's a lot of abuse that's not, we don't speak about for whatever reason. And I think that's one of the multiple ways black women are abused. Um, some, again, some some responsibility can be due to self, but um, I just think it starts with our systems. There are a lot of young girls, especially young girls who come from foster systems, who end up on Skid Row. I, I know at least four of them that I've met here. Um, yeah, so like all in all, protect black women and protect all women. And 
I feel like if girls had the resources to avoid these kind of environments, I think that, that would make a difference. And not like fake group homes or in between housing and women's homes that take in these girls and get money and don't give a fuck, but real housing that gives girls a place to grow and to learn and to become who they're supposed to be. So I want people to learn that it's not about, it's like we're so angry about things and we should be, but I just want them to know like, it's really about love. And I know that sounds corny, but it's like, if you take care of your people, if you take care of your community, if we take care of each other, like so much can change. And with love, so much can grow. And so I feel like it, love is the start of everything we do. I want people to learn that this is not like that by accident. Some some things are our fault. Some things were set up that way by design. You know, there's a reason why you're working 40 to 80 hours a week and you can't afford your rent. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why your brother and your sister have been locked up for minuscule school things. Like, and I just want them to learn and know that as long as we're taking care of each other and we're putting in the work to make sure that we're good, as long as we are, you know, buying back our cities and pouring into our cities and pouring into each other, everything is gonna be okay. I just wanna tell people that my foundation is more than a nonprofit. It's a preventative resource. And the more we grow, um, the more other, the more organizations we come in contact with, the more people we are able to touch, like, the better we'll be. And I just want them to know that we have so much more to come, so many more opportunities, housing resources, and it's just a matter of time before we get the futures and the opportunities that we deserve.